What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flair Reviews. Tonight, I have for you 2020's Amazon Prime hit, One Night in Miami. This is a drama. It's going to run you an hour and 54 minutes. This movie is starring Leslie Odom Jr., Kingsley Bender, Eli George, and Aldous Hodge, directed by Regina King. This movie is about basically the four black icons of back in the 60s, Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali, Sam Cooke, and Malcolm X. It's a fictional story about a night that they spent together in, in Miami after Muhammad Ali wins his first heavyweight championship of the world. And basically they discuss their, you know, their lives and everything going on and how they can help change like the civil rights movement and help be like voices for it and, and stuff like that. Um, basically it's like, a, almost, yeah, it's like, I saw it compared to like, I guess like the wording I saw like other reviews, it was like a one, like a one room play is I guess what the people have been putting it. Um, it's basically what it is. Um, there's only a couple of shots outside of the actual one room that they're in the entire night. And so, I mean, it's a nice spend in Miami. And um, honestly, the, the way these guys are portrayed, the guys that play, you know, the characters, like especially the guy that plays Muhammad Ali, which I believe is Eli George, did an amazing job playing uh, Muhammad Ali. The guy, I mean, all the guys that played all the parts were just awesome. Um, basically, this movie is just a lot of there's a lot of dialogue, and you have to pay really close attention which I like, you have to pay close attention to the dialogue. The dialogue is the entire movie and the way, the way they, you know, the way the, they deliver their lines and everything. It was just, it was so good. It was so well done. Um, this is Regina King's directorial debut. And I think she freaking knocked it out of the park. Like I thought this movie was very, very good. Um, like I said, the characters coming together, the story itself is great, even though it's fictional, but still a great story in general, just to see how like these guys are trying to overcome, you know, all the racism and everything. That's going back in the, like the 50s and 60s and stuff and trying to get the civil rights movement up and going and be voices, you know, for black icons and all that stuff. Um, I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was very, very well done. The dialogue was amazing. It was delivered perfectly. Um, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 on this. Like I said, that was very good. If you haven't seen it, please go out and check this out. It's on Amazon Prime. So, like seriously, though, go check this out. It's such a good movie. And until next time, peace.